Guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I'm Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but if it gets good, I'm going to keep talking, y'all. But the golden nugget today is embrace unexpected change so that you can elevate. What do I mean by that? I mean that sometimes you are expecting change. Those are the changes that you've been asking and wanting and you've been wanting certain things and desiring certain things. So you've been putting in the work. So you're actually looking for those things to happen, that particular change to happen. So when they do come into fruition and they do happen, you're like, woo, yes, I got it. I worked so hard and change has finally come. Da -da -da -da. But what happened when unexpected change knocks on your door? When unexpected change knocks at your door, we don't look at it the same way. There's no woo-hoo. It's like, oh, my God, you're cutting my division? Why is my division being cut? Why am I being laid off? You know, I wasn't expecting this. What am I going to do? How am I going to feed my kids? How am I going to take care of my family? Unexpected change. Or a flood comes through your, 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 um, your state or a tornado comes through your state and tears your house apart and ruins your cars. Oh, my God, where are we going to live? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And the first thing you should be thinking is it's elevation time because you already know that you've been on that job for a long time and you've been wanting a raise but you haven't gotten it right you've been getting the same pay you've been dealing with the same people with the same drum on that job and now they've cut your division you've been complaining that you're so tired of these people on the job, and you can be complaining that your boss hadn't given you a raise and hadn't given hadn't uh, um, upgraded you to a different position. You've been complaining for how many years about this job, and now your division has been cut off because they had to downsize, and your division was the division that they wanted to cut. And now you 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 confused, y'all. It's elevation time. You just got promoted. It doesn't look like a promotion, but you did. You think it is setback. Is a setback, but it's not a setback. It's actually a comeback. You're elevating, you guys. You're elevating. Just like a flood or tornado that comes to your state and it tears your home apart. Well, you know you needed a new roof. You know you wanted some new new tile floors. You know you wanted some new appliances, but you didn't know how you were gonna get it done. Well, a flood and tornado just came through. But now you're looking at it like, oh, my God, where are we going to live? Where are we going to stay? You know that you've been wanting a new house, but you didn't. You weren't making a, the right amount of money to put, have a down payment to get one. But a flood just came your way. And the only thing you could think about right now is what? Oh, this is so unexpected. What are we going to do? No, it's time to elevate. Y'all embrace the change. I tell you. Um, there was a disaster that hit my hometown. There was a, uh, a tornado, actually, that, actually a flood and a tornado hit. But a tornado hit, and there were some people living in, their living conditions were in, was was not good. It was not good at all. First of all, they didn't really have food, enough food to eat at times, certain people. And certain people lived in, when I tell you, shacks, had little shacks. When a tornado came and ripped off the roof and all, did all this, y'all, guess what happened? Guess what happened because of that unexpected change? They got new homes. They got vouchers for food. And that's why I tell you, embrace unexpected change because unexpected change equals elevation. So when stuff starts to shake up in your arena, in your life, don't look at it, don't look at it as being negative, which I know that's the first thing that comes to us because we're human. Our emotions get, get involved, our feelings get involved, and we're thinking, what are we going to do? You start to get worried, but did you think about how you were saying, I need new tile floors for this house? Did you think about, I need new windows for this house? Or did you think about, I will just like a new house? And then a flood comes or a tornado comes, and what happens? You panic. Like, were you the same one saying that you it's time for you to get a new house? Well, y'all, well, maybe this is how the house is coming. Y'all get it? So when unexpected change come your way, 
embrace it because it just symbolized elevation. Now, I'll tell you this too. Sometimes God will do this to you to where you'll be in a place for so long, whether it's on a job or in a house or wherever it is, we get so complacent and comfortable in a safe place to where we will stop growing. We will stop looking to grow. We will stop growing physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and sometimes financially because we want to stay stuck in that safe, comfortable, complacent place. And when God said, oh, uh-uh, you got more stuff. You got stuff you got to get. This more, I got more things that I need to give you. There's more things that, that you're supposed to be getting here, but you you trying to stay in the safety zone. No, you got to get out of the safe zone. And what I mean by safe zone, it just means that you're not willing to take risk. You'd rather, you'd rather stay on the first floor than going to get the high rise to get the penthouse. No. Supposed to be in a penthouse, but y'all on the first and second floor. And it's like, no, you got to elevate because I see you on the, in the penthouse. I see you in the penthouse. So when challenges come your way and y'all unexpected changes does present challenges. But in a challenge, growth happens and growth is nothing but elevation. So we all, when these unexpected changes start knocking at y'all doors, don't look at it. I know their first instinct is to say, oh, what am I going to do? You're going to look at it as, you know, something bad, but it's not y'all. It's just elevation. It has happened to me. I know it has happened to you. If I think back when my unexpected changes have happened, Immediately, I'm like, whoo, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? But then when I look back and see what happened after that unexpected change, like, well, I'm so happy that that unexpected change happened because now I'm where I am. I'm at a better place than where I was spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, all the above, you guys. So when unexpected change comes knocking at your door, welcome it in. Embrace it. Because it just symbolized elevation. I know it doesn't look like elevation. I know being fired does not look like elevation. But trust me, it's elevation time. So y'all embrace the unexpected and elevate. Y'all got it? I hope y'all got it. I hope I explained it to y'all. But that came to me today. I just want to let you guys know because I don't know what you're going through. And I don't know um, what unexpected changes have hit your household or have hit you. I don't know if you've lost a job. I don't know if um, your boyfriend have left you. I don't know if a girlfriend has left you. I don't know if your husband or wife have left you. I don't know what has happened. But know when unexpected change comes a knocking, comes a knocking, not come now, but comes a knocking at your door, it's time for elevation. And like I say, if you're feeling like you're, comfortable, complacent, and safe, you may get a little shaken up because y'all, we were not just designed and developed and placed here on earth just to be stuck in a complacent, comfortable, safe place. We were created to create. And in order to create, you have to grow. And with growth comes elevation. Y'all got that? All right, y'all, I'm going to go for real. It's right at eight minutes or so. I said I wasn't going to keep y'all long, but I, I want to make sure y'all got it, okay? I think you got it. Embrace unexpected change so that you can elevate, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in with me. I look forward to talking to y'all again. And if you take just a little bit of what I'm giving you and apply it to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile because your smiles will always be genuine. Talk to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Enjoy your weekend. I hope, hopefully I'm going to come on here during the weekend and talk to y'all as well because I know it's a holiday time. But y'all enjoy your weekend and be safe and embrace that unexpected change so you can elevate. Talk to y'all soon and ciao. I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile.